young teacher, I'm on fire, you better believe it. Have a bitch run up on your ass, you wear the weed. I'm going grocery shopping. It's my favorite part of meal prepping. Grocery shopping. It allows me to think. Have me time, you know. My favorite section. So pretty. I spend most of my time grocery shopping in the veggie section, frozen section, whatever, the produce section, whatever it's called. My basket is usually full of this, so. And we're complete. What you cooking this week, Jewel? Grocery shopping is complete. Back to it. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Jewel. Here with the 23 for 23 Taste It Tuesday. So, this week on Taste It Tuesday, I'll be trying um, acorn squash. And forgive me, I'm eating my breakfast right now. So... And it's so good, I just, I gotta eat it while I record, right? Um, but anyway, so I'll be trying acorn squash, but before we get into trying acorn squash, um, let me tell you about my meal prep of the week. So, for dinner, I made honey glazed salmon, um, and they got honey, low sodium soy sauce, Dijon mustard, and minced garlic all mixed together and that was a sauce for it and I seared it in the pan and I made some roasted asparagus and some mashed potatoes red potatoes of course and I made them the whole 30 way so no dairy I don't eat dairy at the moment so um, definitely made them the whole 30 way and they're so good oh my goodness um, and for lunch, so what happened was, for lunch, I stumbled upon this vegan um, dinner that this guy was making. And he had red onions, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, some type of peas, some looking peas. I don't know what it was. It, I thought it was edamame, but it wasn't edamame. Um, red cap, I mean, purple cabbage, um, or red cabbage, whatever. And, um... What else did he have? Oh, black beans. And so I don't eat black beans at the moment. I'm not eating black beans. Um, so instead of black beans, I was like, I need something to give me that, you know, fiber and protein. Um, so I decided to add turkey meat to mine. And he made this sauce, and I'm guessing it's like a Mediterranean sauce because it has tahini in it. I don't know. But he made it from scratch. And so I went out looking for all these ingredients, and I couldn't find anything that he said. So I made up my own, you know, uh, but, but it turned out really good. Um, I am loving how this turkey meat is like a, it reminds me of like a goulash, but, uh, it's not. It's really, 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 really good. I actually ate some of the meat with my breakfast this morning. So, um, and I mixed it in with my spinach and some eggs that I got going here and it's so good so good I'm so excited about this week's meal prep and I had some leftover um some leftover mashed potatoes because I really went all out because I love mashed potatoes so I made too much and so I added the extra mashed potatoes into lunch so this week's meal prep is off the chisang I'm gonna link down below the video that I watch as well as the ingredients that I use so you can know what I'm eating now meal prep i mean now taste it tuesday what are we tasting this week acorn squash and i i really um i like squash i like butternut squash oh my goodness butternut squash soup is off the chain i'm gonna make that for y'all one day um i don't know if i really like the yellow squash to be honest but i've had some before but uh, it's all right my friend she can cook them up like with some squash and zucchini she know how to make some veggies um, but acorn squash never had, it seems like it only, well, I seem like I only notice it when it's fall time, which is my favorite season and Halloween, which is my favorite holiday. Um, and so it reminds me of a little pumpkin, you know, it's like a green pumpkin. Um, so, uh, I was like, yeah, let's try it. It's a fall veggie, you know, it looks like a holiday veggie so let's try it so let's see how it tastes it's right now it's cooking in the oven so i'm just kind of talking for real for real 
but let's get into it. All right, so the squash is done. It looks good. It looks like my butternut squash, just smaller pumpkin looking. No, wait, butternut squash. Yeah, butternut squash soup, yeah. But I also eat spaghetti squash. Now, I gotta, my spaghetti be jumping out the gym. I do not use no noodles, pasta noodles. I use spaghetti squash and that's my fave. But butternut, butternut squash soup is really, really good. And so now let's try this acorn squash. I didn't put nothing on here. Oh, it's stringy like spaghetti squash. I figured it was gonna kind of be like sp spaghetti squash. But I only put salt and pepper, so. I'm not gonna be too too judgmental but yeah it's kind of stringy like spaghetti squash let me turn it over and get some of that uh wool out of there come on hopefully i didn't cook it too long let me show you how it's looking fresh out yeah i got the a whole half i'm not gonna eat the whole half but i am gonna try it and i if it's good i'm gonna put it with my um my lunch Hopefully it's good because I can I think that this will be good with that little lunch meal that I made. Cardi B, I'm back. I don't wanna hear I'm acting different. Same looks to be talking about me. It's the same looks to be asking. They catfishing. Alright. It's hot. Look at that smoke. <laughs> Alright. It smell like. Mm mm. I don't like that. Wait a minute. No. Okay, I said I won't be too judgmental. Ooh, I could just. Ooh, yes. I could just cut it with my fork. Mmm. Smell like corn. What's it called? Acorn squash. <laughs> Y'all be with slick with these names. Okay. I do smell like corn though. All right, it's hot. What do I taste like? Nothing. It tastes like hill. Tastes like help. But I mean, I, I say I only put salt and pepper on it. I only put a little bit because I don't play them games with salt, honey. I do not play them games. I will literally put two grains of salt in my hand and then sprinkle it because I don't, I don't like too much salt. So. I think that it's one of them that, mm, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. So this is one of them veggies that you gotta have with a meal. Like you, you, some need to go on top of it, on the side, some type of sauce, some type of better seasoning than what I did. I might sprinkle a little bit more salt and pepper on here, but other than that, it's good. I think you can eat the shell, but you know, that's not my, you know, I don't, we don't do that. The skin, not the shell, the skin. I think you can eat the skin, but I'm not doing it. So, whatever. But I do eat the skin of, um, not, not spaghetti squash. I don't eat that skin. But butternut squash, I have in this tray. So, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like, all the skin of all veggies and stuff probably have the most nutrients in it. You know what? Let's just try it. Let me see. It ain't bad. I eat like the skin of lemon peels. Apples, right? Basic stuff. Not bananas. I'm here looking at my bananas. <laughs> so the skin usually has the most nutrients in it, but I'm I'm not too pressed for those nutrients. So, you yeah. know. But this is good. This is straight. I might throw a little bit. I'm going to put a little more salt and pepper on this piece, and then all the rest of them I'm going to put into my meal prep. Look at this. I think it'll flow. Well, you know what? I might not need to put it in there because of my mashed potatoes. Or 
I use the small containers, huh? Okay, well, I'm getting this squash out. We're gonna eat it somehow with something. Mm. Oh, that, mm, that part's good. Yeah. So it's good. There you have it. Acorn squash. It's, uh, I think, in my opinion, a fall veggie. I don't know if it's a, around year round or, you know, how that works, but it's like a little small pumpkin. Um, and it's really good. So you guys try it. Let me know if you try it, if you like it, or if you have some recipes that I can use to spice it up. All right, guys, I will see y'all Friday, of course, and next Tasty Tuesday. Peace.